Hey guys, alright, today I want to shoot another video on a tool that I bought. It's a uh, CPS MT69. It's a molecular uh, transformator. Basically, what it is, it is to, when you're recovering your refrigerant, uh, instead of dipping your tank into the water, you would hook your lines, your recovery lines, in and out to, between your recovery machine and your tank and you would dip this into the water there's just a row of copper tubing in here and this keeps the refrigerant in liquid state which is supposed to increase the uh, speed the rate of recovery decrease this time alright so we're going to do a video and timing that out and see how well that works these are built pretty well it's got a liquid filled gauge on there uh, it's probably a good five pounds or so. It's a real sturdy uh, piece here. So, you know, come take a look at it. We're going to do a video. You see, you can see for yourself if it's worth it or not. They're about 140 bucks. All right, so here we go. All right, we're going to do some real world testing now. Uh, we're going to pull recovery out of my air conditioner. We're going to recover the freon out of the pureon out of my air conditioner. There's a few different methods we're going to try. We just got this. CPS Pro Set deal. Uh, it's supposed to increase the speed or, re or decrease the time it takes to recover. Uh, so we'll give it a shot. We're going to test it with and without it. Uh, look, first talk a little bit about that. Yeah, this is actually it's a sub cooler. Had a buddy of ours, Ricky Tick TikTok, turn us on to this thing. Um, you know how once you you're doing your recovery on your uh, on your units here, once you uh, get all the liquid recovered you're, you're gonna hit a wall with uh, with the uh, with the vapor this is supposed to actually keep it in liquid form so the recovery time is supposed to be cut in two so this in compensation with that Appion G5 that Eddie rocks here we should uh, cut our uh, recovery time in two and like Eddie was saying what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it first without and then we're gonna demonstrate this uh, this new uh, molecular <laughs> Molecular transformator. Yeah, molecular transformator out. All right, guys, Eddie's got all the cool gadgets, and we're going to test them for y'all. All right, all right, guys, we're going to recover again. We're going to use three eighths hoses again. We got three eighths going to the recovery machine. We got three eighths coming out of the recovery machine to the thing that's going to upset me, I'm sure. <laughs> then we've got let's go to the end part from the recovery machine. Okay. And the out port goes on down to your tank. Okay. And we're going to submerge, submerge it. that in the water. And we've got our coal submerged in some nice uh, cool tap water. Yep. So we're going to see what the CPS can do. Uh, know, maybe we should put ice in it. I don't know. But this is going to be real world. We're not going to be running for ice. We're going to use cold water. Okay. We're zeroed out. Eddie's opening up everything. And we're ready to recover. Ready to get up sits what we're ready to do. Uh, where's the time clock? I got it. Now what are we shooting for now, Ed? Half of the time? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know here about uh, nine, uh, how long did it take us last time? We're gonna have to we'll have all this figured out if we can tell me put this video up, but uh, I don't even know, we'll figure it out here. Here we go. All right. Nine minutes, I think, is what it took us last time. Get it started. Okay, look, it's 11 minutes, 30 seconds, first time with quarter inch hoses. This gauge here shot up to two, 200. Look, it's nine minutes, 23 seconds without the uh, distillery. Reading the same as your gauge here. I'm sorry, Eddie. What was you saying, buddy? We were at. I need to put this a piece of the tank in Man, we should have put the thermal image down on. Yeah, that's good. All right, guys. We're at 55. We're dropping. Less than a minute here. 
Okay, we're at one minute. Coming in the tank. Tank is 90 degrees right now. Pretty cool. The water warming up. It's only about 85 degrees out here today. Ooh, hot to me. It is hot. We're nine minutes. We're, we're trying to beat nine minutes? Nine minutes, 23 seconds. Alright, we're at the two minute mark now, guys. <laughs> Come on. Our <laughs> tank is at 90, 93 degrees. We got up to 112 degrees. I think it's going to do it. Now, I don't have that very top coal submerged, but... Three minutes, she's down to almost 40. Can you see that tank, Ed? It seems like it's hanging in on the heat on the tank. Okay guys, down to 20. Four minutes. Come on girl, pull on down. Tank's still hanging at 90, Eddie. And degrees. 93 degrees, guys. So our, our recovery tank ain't getting hot now. I think it's ain't working. We're almost to zero, guys. Haven't hit the five mark yet. We're coming up on five. Right now. We're almost to zero, guys. Right at zero. 93 still. Just a hair above zero, guys. Five minutes, 37 seconds. The tank is not warming up. We're staying at 93 degrees on our tank. This thing is actually sub-killing our refrigerant. Going back into the tank here.
right, we just passed the six minute mark. We're almost to zero. Alright. I think that's what they're actually saying. It says actually the hotter it is, the faster it goes. Let's see, function is a submersible condenser or evaporator, essential for recovering R410A on hot days. The hotter it gets, the better it works. Eliminates the need to change tanks when recovering R410A. Eliminates annoying shutdowns due to high pressure switch limits. Dramatically improves the performance of any recovery machine. Essential for recovering liquid refrigerant on cold days. Eliminates the need for throttling your recovery machine. Eliminates liquid slugging at, at colder conditions. Maintenance free, rugged, compact, and easy to use. Time? Time is 7 minutes 36 seconds, guys. Uh, about 2 minutes quicker. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, this would probably be excellent on a commercial job where you're recovering like a hundred pounds worth of refrigerant. But how about how hot did that tank get? Is it still hanging at 90? Still hanging at 93? Yeah, see? What was our tank pressure on the other ones? Like 123? 115. 115 degrees. So the, the Recovery tank never changed state of temperature. Stayed at 93. All right, so it saves you a little bit of time, but on a five pound system, you know, is it worth 130 bucks to save two minutes? <laughs> no. I don't know, Eddie. I think this is really, uh, I don't know, maybe like, like what we were saying, on a hot freaking day. On a hot day, it may make a difference. Yeah, I think it will make a difference. A commercial job, it's, gonna make a difference. it's really going to make a difference. Keep in mind, guys, this is R14A that we're, pulling, that we're messing with here, so the pressures are high. I'm right now, I'm on 290 pounds, right at 93 degrees on the tank, so you know, I'll use it. Why not? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, guys.